Callum. I'm Rob. Right, we can see uh, the Honey Padgers gone for 4 4 2 today, so uh, I think that's the best formation to go for. Um, we've been playing well for 4 4 2 in the Burton game and the Sutherland game, so good to stick with that. I can see Edwards is on the left, so I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, Edwards is. Obviously, he played at Luton, a um, bit rusty maybe, but I think 4 4 2 is the best way to go. I'm going for a 2 1 Ipswich. 2 1 Ipswich. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, I mean, stuck with the same squad pretty much as the last w last week, one change. I think it's pretty good. I'm thinking Norwood's going to get on the score sheet today. 3-0, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> Samuel, um, obviously, I don't think we should underestimate Peterborough today. They do have a strong squad. They've obviously made a lot of signings in the summer transfer window, um, including uh, Mo Isa from Bristol City. Um, but they're just gelling together, uh, adding a bit of chemistry to their squad, playing different formations. Um, I think once they've got that sorted, they will be a really uh, big promotion contender. So uh, it won't be easy today. I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. Hopefully, Nor will get on the score sheet after not scoring in his first two games. Um, but yeah, come on, you blues. Yeah, so I'm Ipswich fan zone, and this is the infamous Thomas Whitby, and we're here to tell us, to tell you our thoughts about today's game. So, Tom, what are we going for? I'm going for a 2 0 win. I think Norwood needs to break his duck today. Um, you don't want it to go on too long, do you, really, unfortunately? Yeah. Um, because then confidence is going to start to drop. But hopefully, he nicks the goal, don't care if it goes off his ass or not. Builds the confidence up, really, doesn't it? Well, personally, for me, I think we need to kick on today. I think it's yeah. a pretty it's a perfect opportunity for us to uh, to move on as a club and show the league what we're about. I think it'll be a decent away day, to be fair. We've, we're bringing a lot of supporters down. You know, we had 24,000 at home last week, so, you know, bringing 4,000 down again, you know, should be able to get behind the boys and hopefully push for a win. What's your prediction? I think we'll concede, unfortunately. I like to stay optimistic, so I'm going to say a 2-1 win for a switch. Yeah, so we're just in uh, Ipswich, draw 2-2. Two, two. Um, I think we were quite lucky to get the draw there, in all honesty. I think Peterborough outplayed us. I thought they were the better team. Um, questionable performances from Ken Locke. I wasn't sure on his performance. I think uh, Jackson, definitely the uh, best player at the moment. He uh, seems to be winning all those balls. <laughs> Jack Jackson seems to be winning all the balls at the moment. He, he looks like one of our better players. I think Judge had a better game. But yeah, some questionable performance that was. Yeah, I thought I was onto my 3-0 uh, prediction at the start of the game. Norwood, early goal, three minutes, was it, I think? Yeah, uh, really but early goal. We, we just, I think we just fell asleep. Yeah, we, Whole game, 90 minutes, weren't in it at all. Peter, I really picked up in the second half. But, I mean, I'll take 2-2 I'll take two -two coming here. Definitely take a draw. I think Peter would deserve to win that, in all honesty. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how, um, do you think Lambert will change it for Tuesday? I think he's got to, it wasn't, I don't think it was working at all throughout the game. We were lucky to get a 2-2, but... We should really be being Wilmington on we should Tuesday. Be, yeah. I think Judge will start on Tuesday. Actually, I think he'll. I think that will be the game where we go uh, four-two-three-one. Yeah.